guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. For today's video, we are going to be talking through some of my favorite product launches of the year 2021 so far, since we're officially halfway through this year already. What? I don't know how that happened, but since we're here, I thought it would be fun to do a little mid-year regroup and talk about some of the absolute best launches that I personally feel have really changed the game in one way or another. And of course, I will explain why when we get to each product. So if you're curious to see what some of my favorite product launches are from this year, then you've come to the right spot. We are going to jump right into that. Before we do, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up if you like content like this and drop a comment below letting me know what your favorite product launch of the year so far has been. Instagram and TikTok handles are right here and my Lightroom preset filters for editing Instagram photos are listed in my description box below along with discount codes, links, timestamps, and everything else you may need from me. All right. Let's jump into it. First up is one of the most flawless complexion products I have ever tried. It's the Urban Decay Stay Naked Hydromaniac Tinted Glow Hydrator. Say that five times fast. I know I certainly can't. This is so beautiful. I cannot say enough good things about it. The formulation is incredibly lightweight. It blends beautifully into the skin. It has such an incredible finish, very glowy and hydrating. It just looks healthy and I feel like it really makes my skin look flawless if I do say so myself. And I feel like this has changed the game for me when it comes to a product like this that claims to be really glowy and hydrating and give you that juicy look on the skin because almost everything else that I've tried in the past that has those sorts of claims just does not work out with my skin because I do have skin that leans oily. So I feel like everything just ends up looking really greasy and shiny and not quite right by the end of the day. But this, this is not like that. I do have to work with it a little bit to get it to not do that, but I'll explain in a second. So coverage for this is also great because it is versatile. With one layer, you have light slash medium coverage, but with the second, you can build it up to be more medium to full. So whatever you're in the mood for, you can, you can achieve with this product. And how I personally like to do this do this, use this, is by wearing a sunscreen underneath it that has more of a natural or matte finish. Then I will apply this product and then on top of it, I will use a more mattifying setting powder. And that, that combination is so, so beautiful. Like I said, I feel like it makes my complexion look flawless. And then it does last all day on me. And by the end of the day, I don't look too shiny. So if you have oily skin, that is how I would recommend using it. If you have dry skin, you don't have to go to the hassle. You can just, you know, slap it on by itself and it will look beautiful on you. But this is just so my favorite of the year so far. Next up is an eyeshadow palette. And it's kind of funny because I haven't really been wearing eyeshadow in the way that I used to in a while at this point, like a metallic lid diffused crease, a little bit of a smoked out outer corner. I used to wear that look almost every single time that I did my makeup and now I haven't worn that in months. But I still use this eyeshadow palette almost every single time that I do my makeup now. And I of course will explain why, but it is the Tartlet Juicy Palette. And this is so gorgeous. When I saw this, I was like, uh-huh, we're gonna have to snatch you up immediately because it's fully wearable. I mean, maybe with the exception of these two shades, but Everything else is wearable every day. You could go darker and smokier with it if you wanted to, like with these shades, but otherwise, finally, something that is not bright and colorful like I feel like almost everything else is. So if you wanna do that kind of metallic-y lid with the diffused crease, I mean, you can easily achieve that with this palette and it will look beautiful because the shadows do perform really, really well. They're pigmented, they're blendable, but that's not how I've been using it, like I said. So I will show you guys what I've been doing. I've been taking this shade right here and applying that all over the lid. And then I have been taking these matte brown shades and using them, sorry, the lighting's gonna go weird, as a winged liner, like a little eyeshadow winged liner. So I have that bone colored shade from like my lash line all the way up to my brow bone. And then I have this lighter brown shade right here as a little winged liner. And it's just so much softer than a really black, inky gel or liquid liner. I love, love the way it looks. And I actually get questions a lot from you guys on it. So that is what I have been doing almost every single time. I mean, pretty much every time that I do my makeup and I love it so much. Also, this has a massive mirror. I don't wanna show you guys the mess of my room. Okay, you can see it there. So I will also just whip this out all the time for the mirror. 
love it. Next up is definitely one of my absolute favorite launches of the year. It is the Olaplex Number no. 8 Bond Intense Moisture Mask, and I was so excited about this because I have been dying for them to come out with a hair mask, and I didn't think it was gonna happen when it did. So, was super excited, and let me tell you, it did not disappoint. This is such an impressive hair mask. When I look at the ingredients list, I honestly think it's the most impressive that I've seen out of any hair mask that I have personally tried because not only does it have their bond reparative ingredient, it also has so many other things that will benefit the hair. So it has amino acids, those will help to strengthen and protect the hair. It has a lot of different plant-based oils to soften and add shine and just a lot of other ingredients as well that will replenish and condition and just nourish the hair. So I love the ingredients in it and the formulation is great also. Very different for me and kind of what I go for in a hair mask because almost all of my other hair masks are very, very thick and buttery. You know what I mean? This is nothing like that, but it still ends up being a very nice mask. It's really rich and dense. It's just a different type of formulation, again, than what I am used to, but I really, really enjoy it. Coats the hair well, it feels deeply conditioning, and I love the way that my hair looks after I use it. So I would highly recommend if you're on the lookout for a mask that really is gonna give you a lot of bang for your buck as far as having great ingredients, helping with damage repair, and then also lasting a long time because a little bit does go a long way. This is gonna be your girl. Next is a shampoo and conditioner set that I almost excluded from this video only because I've talked about it so many times at this point. I was like, really? We're gonna do this again? Most of you know the drill and know exactly where this is going, but because of the theme of this video, I felt like it would be weird if I didn't include it. So here we are again. Here we go again. The Redken Acidic Bonding Concentrate Shampoo and Conditioner. I had to, I had to. I absolutely love this set, but it's not just because it works well for my hair. The reason why I wanted to include it in this video is because I really do think, or at least hope that this is going to change the way that brands formulate products and talk about products in the hair care industry in the future. So this is all about being pH balanced. And if you're not familiar with that and wanna know more, I do have a video talking all about it in depth that I will list below. But basically using high pH hair care products not only makes our hair look and feel a little wonky, it also actually damages the hair and eventually will lead to breakage. So it is super important to use pH balanced hair care if you want healthy hair. And at this point, there's really only a small handful of brands that are talking about this and an even smaller amount that are actually willing to disclose their pH levels of their products. So I'm really hoping that after this launch, because that's so heavily the purpose of it, we will see more brands following suit in the future. Aside from that, the formulations are great and I do think they would work really well with a lot of different hair types. And this is also a protein-free option. So if you often experience protein buildup, then you will absolutely love this set because it's tricky to find protein-free hair care. But I will say if you have really damaged hair, if you get your hair bleached often, I would recommend alternating this set with another that does have added proteins because hair that is that incredibly porous really does need that additional protection that added proteins offer. So especially if you don't really use leave-ins or detangling sprays or anything like that, with proteins, then I would not use this exclusively. I was doing that for a few months, only using this set because I had horrible protein buildup, but now that that is fully gone, I am back to alternating this with other sets that I have that do have added proteins. So that's all I need to say on this. That's enough of that for a while, but again, how could I not? Next up is the biggest game changer ever for overnight curls, and it is the Octo Curl. This thing is amazing, and if you have ever tried robe curls, or if that is your current heatless curling styling option, no, you're gonna be in love with this because this creates beautiful curls that I think are so much better than just your standard robe curl because with the robe tie curls, all you have is one tie on each side of your head. So yes, you can create pretty waves, but they just don't have the structure that these curls have. And at least for me, they just weren't as uniform. Not that I want my curls to be identical and they still are not going to be with this, but it just is a lot messier look now that I'm comparing that to what you can achieve with this. So this is something that you wear over your head like this and you tie around like you would with a robe curl, but you have eight of these little things, that's why it's called an octo curl, like an octopus, 
So you'll just tie it around, you secure it because there's a little tie added to the end, genius, and then you can sleep in that overnight and I promise you, you will have the most beautiful curls the next morning that look like you used a curling iron. It, it is the best. Also, as somebody that really struggles with sleep, like I have insomnia really bad, this is very comfortable to wear. It doesn't bother me at all. And this one is the satin or silk fabric. They do have a few different fabrics, but this is my personal favorite. So nice and soft and gentle on the hair. This doesn't give me a headache. It's just... It's the best thing ever. Okay, wait, now I gotta get this out. I get the best results with this if my hair is damp when I am tying it around the curls. So what I will do is spray a leave-in conditioning and or detangling spray from about bottom of my ears all the way down through my ends. And that gives me such, such beautiful curls. So like my Pureology Color Fanatic spray or any of the other sprays that I've talked about, I will list a couple below that I love, but those are all perfect. I'm not getting my hair completely drenched like I'm in the shower, but just a little bit of a mist so it's damp. And then, oh my gosh, you guys have to tell me once you try this, how much you love it, because I already know that you are going to. Next up is a very recent launch from Color Science. It's their Sun Forgettable Total Protection Face Shield Sunscreen Flex. So this is supposed to flex or adapt to your natural skin tone and be a perfect match, which I do not agree with because I have two different shades and neither of them perfectly match my skin. However, I do think that I can make them work to where it's passable and not like, oh my gosh, that looks terrible on you. They definitely do need more shades. I said that in my review on this product, so I'm hoping that we see that in the future. It's tinted, it has SPF 50, amazing ingredients, it's water resistant. All of that's good and fun, but that's not the reason why I love it because I feel like you can find those things in a lot of other sunscreens. The reason why I am so obsessed with this is because it has enough coverage for me to completely replace the need for foundation or CC cream. And I have not been able to find a tinted sunscreen that does what this does yet. And on top of that, the finish is beautiful and does not make me look shiny or greasy like so many other sunscreens. So I would say it has a natural satin matte finish and it looks flawless on the skin. It really does make your skin just glow in a beautiful way with that coverage. So if you have been looking for an SPF 50 replacement for makeup, look no further. I think you're going to be in love with this. Obviously, if you want something that's more sheer and natural, this will not be the type of product for you. But again, this is so unique and innovative for the sunscreen space. I'm really excited about it and I really hope we see more products like this in the future with better color selections. Next is the Bali Body One Hour Express. So they already had just regular self-tan mousses out for a while, but this came out this year and I wasn't really that interested in it, I'll be honest, because before trying this, I thought that I was just fully done with self-tanners that have a color guide. If you don't really know what that means, it's when a self-tanner actually has that dark bronze color to it, which does help with application so that you can see where you're applying it. But let's be honest, they're gross. Like, you feel like you can't leave your house because if you have fair skin like me, looks absurd. You're like orange, a cheese it walking around. And they get messy, they stain sheets, they can get on your clothes and your couch if you're sitting there. I just hate the way that they usually feel with formulations that have them and I hate all that other stuff. So I was like, you know what, I'm done. I'm just gonna use no color guide self tanners, clear self tanners from here on out until I tried this beautiful, beautiful thing. So this, unlike so many other self tanners with a color guide, has an incredibly lightweight, fast drying formulation. It almost feels like shaving cream. You know what I mean? Like fluffy and moussey. I love it, but it fully dries down essentially instantly. So you don't have that wet, sticky feel that's going to transfer onto things, which is one of the reasons I hated them previously, the color guide. So that is great. But if that was the only reason it was good, it still wouldn't be enough for me, you know? But a couple more reasons why I love this. My God, you're like, get on with it. It's a self tanner. It says it's a one hour express and I have yet to find a self tanner that I can only leave on for one hour and have it be as dark as I want it to be and last as long as I want it to be. So I wasn't holding out hope for that but I only have to wear this for four hours and I do get full depth of color and it lasts seven plus days on me, which is super impressive because almost every other self tanner I need at least six, if not eight hours of wear. So cutting that in half basically, yes, sign me up. Like that's a significant difference in my day. 
eight hours versus four. Uh-huh. And on top of that, we're not done. This is the most beautiful self-tan color I have ever tried, I think. I think. I do need to do a video updated on my top favorite self-tanners, but if not, you know, my number one favorite, it's for sure within my top three. It is the most beautiful dark color that doesn't look too intense or fake. It's not too orange, but oh my gosh, it just, it makes your skin look juicy. Like you just got back from vacation. The color is perfectly even. It's gorgeous. My mouth dropped open when I first saw this fully developed. I was like, oh, it's going to be like that, huh? So <laughs> this is my favorite self-tanner launch of the year so far. It is incredible. I would highly recommend. Okay, next is a base coat and top coat that I've been using religiously for six plus months at this point, And I don't think I've ever talked about it on my channel, which feels like I'm cheating on you guys because I tell you literally everything that I use. We need to talk about how amazing this base and top coat is. So if you know anything about me, then you know that I am obsessed with nail polish. I always have been. And I used to paint my nails two times a week, sometimes up to three times because once a nail chips for me, I can't deal. I'm an anxious picker. I will just peel off my polish. And that was destroying my nails, which was not good. So my nails were not in good shape, but then also needing to sit there and wait for my nails to dry two to three times a week was ruining my life, honestly. So I heard about this brand called Dazzle Dry, and this technically is going to be a little bit of a cheat because it didn't launch in 2021, but it launched in my life in 2021. And this brand claims to be long lasting and no chipping. What? Not chip. <laughs> I'm getting excited and not chip for two plus weeks. It claims to dry within five minutes fully, like a hard dry, not like, oh, kind of dry, but you would still nick it or smudge it. Full dry within five minutes and also be good for your nails and help your nails to grow longer and stronger. And you know that saying that's like, if something's too good to be true, it probably is. I was like, there's no way this is gonna work. Apparently this is the exception to the rule because it does all of those things. Dries almost immediately. I don't understand it. It lasts on me without chipping for up to two weeks if I wanted it to. But like I said, I have to paint my nails a new color every week. So it at least lasts me the full week and it has allowed my nails to grow longer and stronger. Part of that could just definitely be that I'm not peeling off my nail polish anymore, but if that's what it can do for me, then I will take it because my nails are so much healthier than they ever have been, even though I just chopped them off because I had one break and I, I can't stand that, like a super short nail, all the long rest. So I cut them all off, but before this, they were the longest they have ever been and strong too. The break was my fault, but you guys get it. So I am so, so, so impressed with this brand. I will say that their shades of nail polish are not my absolute favorite. I haven't had a ton of success there. There's a couple that I have liked, but what I will do is use their base and top coat with any of my other nail polishes like static nails, which you guys know I love. And it works great and works the same in that way too. So you don't need their actual polish color in order for the base and top coat to work. So whatever you use, you need these. I am telling you, nobody should be waiting for two, three hours for their nails to dry every single time they paint. Like we do not have time for that anymore. And that's why Dazzle Dry is the best. All right, you guys. And with that, those are all of the product launches from the year so far that I have been the most impressed with. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and had fun talking about product with me. It's my favorite thing to do ever. And I would love to hear in the comments if there's something that I didn't talk about that you think I need to try what that is because I may just go run out and purchase that immediately. Not that I need more product. Obviously it's for experimental purposes for this channel only, but of course I have not been able to try everything that's come out this year. So please let me know if you feel like there's anything I desperately am needing in my life. Also, if you are going to pick anything up after watching this video, you have to let me know what that is or what those things are, plural, if there's more than one. And as always, everything will be listed in my description box below in order of mention, so it's nice and easy for you to find. So if you enjoyed this video and would like to see more content like this, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, send my channel to a friend and click on that notification bell. Stay tuned for my next video because that will be up in a few days, but until then, I'm out of breath. I hope you have a great few days.